Hey Samsung fans, welcome back to another episode where we explore seven more powerful features on your Galaxy S25 Ultra, all designed to make your phone smarter, faster, and way more fun. So if you're new here, I drop daily Samsung tips just like this. So be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell to stay ahead of the curve. And before we jump in, make sure to download GoodLock from the Galaxy Store. It's a secret sauce to unlocking these advanced features. So let's get into today's seven features. So the first one is how to turn on the assistant menu on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So if you need quicker access to screenshots, volume, or the home button, then you need to turn on the assistant menu for a floating shortcut panel. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find accessibility. Now from here, you wanna find interaction and dexterity. And now here you wanna find the assistant menu, which is right here, turn this on. Go ahead and tap on this and here you can go ahead and customize all this so you can select what items you want in your menu you can go ahead and select to show contextual menu with you can replace swipe with single taps you can go ahead and configure the shortcut the size and the transparency the edge and touchpad and cursor control so now once you turn this on you'll see this button here which is floating on your home screen to use it, go ahead and tap on this. And here you can go ahead and access all of these buttons here. So you have recent, home, back, screen off, volume, screenshots, notification panel, pinch, power off, cursor, screen control, and menu settings. So basically with this floating bubble, it gives you instant access to core functions. Perfect if you prefer less physical tapping or you need quick navigation buttons. So this is great for accessibility, single hand use, or just faster control on your device. The second one is where you can swipe to start an application with one hand operation plus. So if you want to make your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra easier to use with one hand, then let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, we'll go ahead and open up the one hand operation plus. Turn this feature on and now go ahead and select your handle. So I'm using the middle handles. So we'll go ahead and configure this. So here, when I swipe right, I want to go ahead and open an app. So from this list, I'll go ahead and find start application. And here I can go ahead and start any application I want. So let's just say I would like TikTok as my application to start when I swipe. So I'll go ahead and search for TikTok, set that. And now I'll go ahead and press home. And now when I go ahead and swipe like this, TikTok opens up, as you can see. Again, I'll show you. And there you go. TikTok opens up. So you launch your favorite apps or action instantly. No more stretching your fingers across a huge screen. You can just go ahead and swipe and you open up your favorite app. The third one is where you can add an on-screen volume button. So are you tired of fumbling with this physical button where you're basically pressing like this and you don't know if it's pressed or not, or basically you're trying to find them in the dark. If you're having issues, then keep watching as I'll show you how to add a physical button right here next to your recent home and back. So to do this, you want to first go ahead and open up the good lock app. Now in the good lock app, you're going ahead and opening up the Navstar module. Turn this feature on, go ahead and tap on new configuration. And now here tap on button layout and then tap on add button. Now from here, scroll down and you find the volume up and volume down. So go ahead and tap on both. So here, as you can see, you've added the volume down, volume up. You have your recent home and back. Now press done, go and press save. Now scroll down and go ahead and use the one that you created. Now tap home. So now, as you can see at the bottom of your phone, you'll see your volume down, volume up, your normal buttons, your recent home and back. So now when you go ahead and press the volume up button, the volume goes up. When you press the volume down button, the volume goes down. So this is especially useful when you're using your phone in landscape mode if you have your buttons really hard to reach. So in landscape mode, you can see the volume up button is here and the volume down button is here. So it's really useful when you're watching movies and you want to increase and decrease the volume. And it's basically it's on screen. So no more finding any physical buttons. All you have to do is just press these buttons here. The fourth one is where you can create pop-up folders for instant access. So if you want to speed up multitasking with pop-up folders, so here as an example, I have a pop-up folder. However, when I go ahead and tap on this, this basically opens up in full screen. And then from here, I need to go ahead and find the app. This way I cannot see what other apps are behind. I need to go ahead and press the back and then go back to here. 
So let me show you how to bring up a pop-up folder, which is like a floating window. And also it allows you to see all the other features or other items on your home screen. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Home Up module. Now turn this feature on and then tap on Home Screen, scroll down and find Pop-up Folder. Go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on this, and here you can go ahead and customize your pop-up folder. So you can have small, medium, large. You can go ahead and choose the variable size. So variable size basically means the number of icons will affect how big that folder shows up on screen. You can position it to central fixations. You can hide the edit bar. And then you can remove the blur. So blur is removed from the background. So press home. And now when you go ahead and open up any pop-up folder, you'll see that it, pop, it basically opens up as a floating window and you can go ahead and see all these other icons on screen as well. So with this, you can access multiple apps without leaving what you're doing. It's super slick for multitasking. The fifth one is where you can light up your Samsung keyboard. So if you wanna make your keyboard match your vibe like this, where when you're typing, it basically lights up. And let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you need to go ahead and find the Keys Cafe module, which is right here. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Style Your Own Keyboard and make sure that's turned on. Now you wanna go ahead and choose all of these styles so you have different themes which you can choose from. So let's just say, for example, this one here, I'll apply that. Now next, you can go ahead and choose the effect. So the effect is basically where this basically allows your keyboard to light up. So you can have like a paint splatter, you can have some fireworks, light bursting, and so on. You can go ahead and choose what color as well. All those effects are happening. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the color key effect. So you'll see the effect on the key itself. So if you wanna highlight it, you can go ahead and choose that as well. If you scroll down, you can also choose the key motion effect. So you can ask it to do jumps, taps, enlarge, and so on. So this basically shows you that it has been pressed. So now once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press home and then go ahead and test it out. So we'll go ahead and open up a message. And as you can see, you have all these different keyboard effects happening on your keyboard. So this way, basically, it looks amazing, improves your visibility, especially at night, and makes your Samsung S25 Ultra it's very unique. The sixth one is where you can add app widgets to your lock screen. So do you want a glanceable info before you even unlock your phone? If yes, then let me show you how you can add an app widget. So app widget could be like a calendar widget, maybe a Google News widget, or let's say an alarm widget. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Lockstar module. Now Lockstar module will take you to your lock screen. So here you'll be able to customize your lock screen. So here, if you wanna go ahead and add an app widget. So let's say for example, this space is empty and I wanna add a calendar. So we'll go ahead and tap on Lockstar here at the bottom, tap on app widgets. And then we'll go ahead and find the calendar and we'll go ahead and add the calendar we require. So let's just say, for example, this one here, add it. So here I'll go ahead and pull this, we'll go ahead and set it up here. And go ahead and configure the transparency. Go ahead and choose my light and dark mode. And then if I want to choose the background or not, save it and then press done. And now when I lock my screen and I unlock it, you'll see that calendar is on my lock screen. You can do this the same on your always on display. So again, if you go ahead and go to your lock star, tap on lock star. And here, if you tap on always on display, you can go ahead and add app widgets there as well. So here you basically stay updated at a glance without unlocking it and it's fast and it's secure as well. And lastly, the seventh one is where you can secret message someone using Samsung Notes. 
So if you want to send a secret message, you can basically use the shared feature option on Samsung Notes to share notes to one another. So here, let me show you how to do this. So first, go ahead and open up Samsung Notes. Now next, you want to go ahead and tap on these three lines and then tap on shared notes and then go ahead and create a note. So here it's asking you who you want to invite to share the note with. Tap on share link. So we'll get the link. Now here we can go ahead and start creating our message. So let's just say, for example, hi. And here you can go ahead and share it with anyone you like. So whoever you add to this note, he or she will be able to use it only if the person has a Samsung phone. So at the top here, you can see who it is shared with. You can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and invite more people to this. And whatever you type here, it'll basically update in real time back and forth. So you can basically say hi, and then the other person can open this and reply to your message. And then he or she will can reply to this message and then you can go ahead and open it again and reply to that message. So it's discreet, private, it doesn't leave a history and it's perfect for sending confidential information without extra apps. And that's it, seven more amazing features you can activate today on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. I post daily Samsung tips, so if you found this helpful, smash the like button, subscribe and share with the fellow Galaxy users. Comment below which feature was your favorite or is there one you want me to cover next? Then let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with more features you're gonna love.